Hi, Dr. Robinson today, and I'm going to show you how to remap a key on your keyboard. The main key that screen readers want is the use of an applications key uh, versus using Shift F10. And many laptops do not come with an applications key. Many do also, um, but this gives you options to buy the computer that you want and still remap a key. I'm using a gaming keyboard right now, and to the right, I have many duplicate and triplicate keys because in gaming, it gives lots of options to the users. And I have an Alt and then a backslash, an FN and a Control on the right-hand side of my space bar. I know I already have a backslash, third key to the right of my P, so I'm going to remap that backslash, and I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm using Sharp Keys. This is a GitHub product. Do make sure you go to the releases and get the most recent with the bug fixes. And I'm gonna show you how to use that. So I've already downloaded it and I'm gonna hit my start key and I'm going to open sharp keys. Search by S A A R sharp keys app sharp enter. Alt Y. Sharp keys list view zero items to move okay. to an item. I'm just gonna hush them up. So you can, uh, uh, and I always tell students, tab around, listen to the whole box before you uh, go ahead and start uh, applying uh, quick keys. And I could do Alt A, but I'm just gonna tab to the Add button. Add button to activate, press space bar, Alt plus A. Okay, and it tells you Alt plus A, Alt A. Okay, I'm gonna hit space bar. Space, sharp keys, colon, add new key mapping, map this key, colon, list box, app, colon, calculator, left parent, E0, underline 20. And I'm just gonna hush them up. You do have to know what placement uh, the number is of that, so E1-21. Well, most of us don't have all of that memorized, so I'm going to show you a trick. This program does require the use of a mouse, but I'm going to show you a trick where you don't need to use the mouse. I'm going to tab to type a key. I'm going to listen to what my backslash key is, and then I can go back to the list box and find it. Type key button to activate press space bar, space bar. Alt plus K space sharp keys colon add new key mapping. I can't even hit the control key because it will re immediately say I think I want to remap that control key. I'm going to hit my backslash that is down by my space bar. Backslash. B and it will tell you what this is. Type key, type key, window, has focus, you press colon, special colon, ISO, extra key, left parent, zero, zero, underline, 56, right parent, okay, okay. button, cancel, button, special colon, ISO, extra key, left parent, zero, zero, underline, 56, right parent, press a button on your keyboard, system, menu bar, system, menu item, collapsed, closed, but backslash. Key and hush them up again. So you know this is an IOS, extra key, zero, zero, underscore, 56. Uh, you could try to do some fancy routing of your keys, but you really can't. You're going to have so many issues with that because this is made to accept any button that you have. Okay, so now, and I can't even hit escape out of this. You literally have to close this with Alt F4. And now you know this is the special iOS extra key. So I'm going to Alt F4 and close. So let's down arrow and find it. I do know it's going to be a fair away down the screen. You can't do first letter navigation. So I'm just going to hit my down arrow to jump and then listen to where I'm at because I need to look for a special key. So let's down arrow. App. P colon semicolon colon left okay, parent zero zero key. underline 27 right closer. parent 53 of two. P colon. P colon J left parent zero zero. Still in key. P colon. Media colon volume up left pair and E0 underline okay. 30 right pair. Media. I know I need to get through my numpad first, so I'm just going to sit on it for a few seconds now. Num, col num colon enter left pair and E0 underline 1C right pair. And okay, now I need to slow down because I know I'm um, down in my num enter, so I need to slow down, look, listen for my special key, iOS 0056. Special colon yen dash left pair and zero zero underline oh. seven. Special colon euro sign left pair and e zero underline forty five right. Special colon less greater vertical bar left pair and e zero underline fifty six right pair and one hundred twenty three of two hundred ninety. I'm on my E O. I'm getting very close now. Special colon alt G R left pair and e zero underline. Special colon application left pair and e zero underline five D right. Special colon backspace left pair and zero zero under. Special colon break left pair and e zero underline. Special colon caps lock left pair. Special colon delete left pair. Special colon end left pair. Special colon enter left pair and zero zero special colon escape left pair and zero special colon angle key left pair special colon anja key special colon and left special colon home left special colon insert left pair and ease special colon iso extra key left pair and zero zero underline 56 and right pair is. 
So since I want to add an applications key, I'm actually going to have to go online and look it up. And I've already done that, so this is something easy that you could do also. But I'm going to tell you what the mapping is. It's called special, of course, colon application EO underscore 5D. So that is what we're going to be looking for. So we need a tab over to find this key. Type key button to this key colon. Type key button list box. Dash dash turn key off left parent zero zero underline zero zero. Okay, so we're at the top of the list box and let's head down to our specials again. And that's a lot of down arrows. App colon. Function colon F23 okay. left parent zero zero. Function. Key colon four dollar left parent zero zero underline zero five right parent sixty four of two hundred ninety six. Key colon key left parent key colon. Num colon dash left parent zero zero underline four right parent. Okay, we're in our num locks now. Num colon num 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 special colon euro sign left parent e zero underline forty five right parent one hundred twenty three. So it's time to slow down now because I know I'm in in my special keys now and I'm looking for that applications key. Special colon all special colon application left parent e zero underline five d right parent one hundred twenty six of two hundred ninety six. There you go. Special application e o. Uh, underscore 5D and so that is what I want so that's for everybody so you don't even have to look it up that is the applications key and now I need to go ahead and tap to OK OK button to activate press space bar space num bar. colon space list view special colon iso okay. extra key left now I've already done all of this so my backslash is my applications key but you want to tab to write this to registry add button to edit button delete button delete all but write the registry button to activate okay. I'm not going to hit space bar on that because I've already uh, done this. And let me just quickly show you that I have done this. I'm going to go to my taskbar and I'm going to hit my right click on Edge. Windows T, taskbar, Microsoft Edge button to activate press space bar. Okay, I'm going to hit my applications key now. Backslash, items list box, tasks unavailable, new window, one of two, to yeah. move to an item press. Yes, it's going to say backslash because that is the key that I uh, remapped. I'm just thinking once the updates, they may give another release, and so it'll actually say applications key, but you don't have to worry about that. Just know you hit the applications key and you can down arrow. New and private list box, Microsoft and pin from taskbar, two of two. And there you are, all your wonderful application key options. So that is how you do sharp keys all by yourself using a screen reader uh, and not support from a sighted person. Okay, thank you. This is Dr. Robinson, and I hope you that helped you.